Hello viewers, welcome to my blog ash.marinebistv.com. This is Ash and will keep you all informed and posted all about maritime sector. So we shall move on to the first update. The first update is Jewel of Musket and Oman project nearing its completion. Talking in more in detail about the same, it says the Sultanate of Oman at the eastern tip of the Arabian Peninsula is going through a renaissance of its maritime heritage. Taking it one step closer to the goal is the Jewel of Musket a project nearing completion. It says the Jewel of Musket project is a joint initiative between Oman and Singapore involving the reconstruction of a 9th century sound plank ship on the beach of Quantab village just outside the Musket, Oman's capital city. Once the 60-foot long hand bill hull is launched into the Gulf of Oman, she will set sail on an epic voyage that will finish in Singapore, one of Oman's oldest trading partners. Jewel of Musket takes its blueprint from a 9th century wreck of a ship that was carrying more than 60,000 pieces of Chinese ceramics, silver and gold artifacts spices and other commodities now known as the tank treasure that was discovered in 1998 in Indonesian waters. Jewel of Muscat will set sail from Muscat in early 2010 and travel along the same trade routes across the Indian Ocean as those described by Arab geographers and navigators. She is expected to arrive in Singapore in July 2010 after stopping in India, Sri Lanka and Malaysia. Once in Singapore, she will be officially handed over as a gift from the government of Oman to the Singapore government and housed in a museum along with the treasure from the original wreck. The next update goes like this. It says Strategic Marine delivers 40-meter crew boats. It says two Western Australian companies have cooperated on the design and construction of multi-million dollar high-speed utility and crew, crew vessels built specifically for the Australian offshore market. Maritime support solution company Samson Maritime ordered two 40-meter fast utility vessels from Henderson-based Strategic Marine last July with the first of the vessel launched in early May 2009 at Strategic Singapore Yard and the second vessel being launched in August. The vessel named the Samson Supporter and Samson Supplier have a top speed of more than 25 knots. Moving on to the next update, it says Cruise Terminal for Singapore. It says with the sole aim to develop Singapore as the hub of regional cruise trade, the Singapore Tourism Board, that is SDB, organized a groundbreaking ceremony at the Marina South Pier to launch its massive international cruise terminal ICT project. The ICT groundbreaking ceremony was presided over by Mr. Lim Hing Kiang, Minister for Trade and Industry, and over 100 key industry partners and delegates. The project with the end date of 2011 aims to double the Singapore berth's capacity allowing the cruise ship to home port and call on Singapore and Asia. So viewers that's all I have for you. To get more information on maritime activities you can log on to news.marinebestv.com and also you can check my blog ash.marinebestv.com. Stay in touch. Catch you tomorrow. Bye bye.